Hey everyone, welcome back. It is another early morning for me. It's 4 a.m. I woke up again early, just couldn't sleep, so I came out to the garage and I figured I'd work on some YouTube content for you. I'm not sure if my sleep is um, being affected by my anxiety, which I'm not sure if it's really anxiety or not, but uh, you know, I've been really really focus on my preps the last two months and uh, following the news about food shortages and droughts now as you, if you guys know me you know I, I'm down in my garage area so if you hear any noise outside uh, I do apologize for that but uh, it should be minimal because it's pretty early in the morning so anxiety right so you know I see all these news stories um, regarding floods and then regarding water shortages and droughts and food shortages and here in the Philippines last week it was a, a sugar issue but this morning I wake up and and they're talking about they don't have enough supply of um, white onion garlic and um, salt so white onion garlic and salt is is uh, this week's uh, food shortage or demand. They say by November it should pick up um, back to some normal levels once they do some harvesting. Um, and I hope that's true. You know, I, this could be, you know, because of some of the storms we had earlier in the year or, you know, drought related because we did have a drought in summertime. But uh, that's just the new, new latest shortage. Right now we're importing uh, those three items salt. Uh, now, salt, they did say that it was cheaper to import than to produce locally and if that's true I don't understand why there's a shortage unless they're not able to import enough so I'm not sure about that one um, but yeah so these are the kind of news stories I've been seeing and this isn't just you know some far right or left news sites you know I, I'm getting stuff every day from uh, global news you know BBC, YUN, CNN, Fox I look at them all you know um, and they're all talking about the same kind of things, right? So, you know, it, it doesn't keep me up at night, but it makes my brain at night constantly think about how much food I want to start making. And uh, I should start making my own food here within a week, so I'm pretty excited about that too. <clears throat> but is it anxiety or is it just um, an honest fear that I'm, I'm starting too late or I'm not going to have enough time now, preppers have been prepping for the end of the, the world or the collapse of the economy um, forever, right? And they're always gloom and doom. Hey, it's going to fall apart in 30 days. Or I see a lot of news. China's economy will collapse in 10, 9, 8 cents. And it doesn't, you know. And, and the U.S. economy is in the toilet. And I, I see that. And, and it, it is, but I don't think it's ever going to collapse, you know, because the governments can just print more money, right? So they can do what they want. But... Uh, you know, the food shortages two months ago were blamed on transportation, which was blamed on cost of gas, which is blamed on the war. Um, there's always a blame. And there's always a solution to one problem, and then another solution comes up. Um, or another problem, I should say, comes up. So my mind is constantly shifting and sifting around all these different uh, news articles I'm reading, you know, filtering out. The, the BS, filtering out the uh, panic mongering and then uh, trying to figure out where's the real uh, intelligence and where's the real story and all of this stuff. Now it's easy to say like the Philippines, onion shortage, okay, but why? Was it a drought last year? And they're like, yeah, you know, it, it caused, you know, that the storms caused the shortage in the farming and harvesting, but then they at least follow up and say the numbers should be back to normal, you know, November. All right, so a couple months they have a shortage on one item. Is that the end of the world? No, right? So the farmers are out, they're going out there, plant, and they're going to take care of it. But uh, this whole sugar stuff here in the Philippines is interesting because uh, it, it looks like there's a big shortage of sugar, and the prices went up, and everything was kind of crazy, and then it turns out that uh, from the best that I can understand from the, the Philippine news, is people were hoarding sugar. When I mean people, I don't mean you and me holding, you know, a couple pounds of sugar. I'm talking about big warehouses full of sugar that they were just sitting on. Um, and 
were they trying to drive a shortage in order to drive up prices? I don't know. I'll let the government sort that out between all those people. But the real effect is to us end users, you know, we pay more for sugar until they sort it out. And then if there's any penalties or fines, the government gets it and we don't get reimbursed for the high, price, high prices of sugar we pay. <coughs> but these are examples of another reason why, you know, I'm looking forward to start prepping my own food is it will reduce my anxiety if I know that I have personally four or five months supply of freeze-dried garlic or freeze-dried onion or, or preserved sugars of some kinds that I can offset these fluctuating costs when they do occur with my own supply and then I can replace my supplies um, when things are back to normal with, with producing more of the, the same items I use. But uh, yeah, my mind, uh, I mean, I don't know about normal preppers because, you know, this is fairly new to me. But uh, my mind is constantly thinking and thinking about this stuff. Now, my YouTube feed is full of this kind of stuff, and it's because of the algorithm, right? It's a lot of stuff I watch. So, you know, YouTube constantly throws this stuff in my face. And uh, I purposely have to go through and search a bunch of other stuff just to get my feed full of other things other than doom and gloom and the world's going to collapse, right? You know, I think the world's going to do just fine, but it's going to be really hard on a lot of people. Um, you have to really look into some of these stories, um, and it all depends on the news, on what agenda they want to push. But there is a lot of factual evidence here. There is a food shortages in the area. Food prices are absolutely insane. The price of eggs here in the Philippines are almost twice what they were three weeks ago. And I was reading an article earlier this morning that the local government doesn't know why because there seems to be enough um, eggs. It's just the price went up. And uh, they're looking into that, who knows why. <coughs> the government here does fix prices on a lot of things. So you can expect, you know, a cap, you know, and, and the government does go after people that um, gouge uh, for crisis, right? So when there's a big pandemic and everybody's raising prices for no reason other than to raise prices, the government did go after a lot of these people, which is good. Um, but there is shortages and there, there is a real cost to me, right? You know, I feed probably 10 to 15 people a day, a couple times a day, between my crew and my family and everybody that's here. So I'm spending a lot every single day on, you know, produce, you know, that's meat, vegetables, rice. And every day I'm like, well, you know, it wasn't like this a month ago. Why am I spending more? And we're basically feeding everyone the same food. So the costs have gone up and I feel it, right? Um, gas has still gone up. You know, it, it went up, let's just random numbers. It went up 10% and then they come back and say, hey, a big drop and they drop it 2%. So you're still up eight, but they drop it two. And now they come back saying, expect next week another big jump. So we're already up eight and then they're gonna do another big jump. And I'm telling you, it, the gas is just keeps going up. I don't care if these little ripples where they make a news story and say we dropped it, you know, 2%, have a, have a Merry Christmas. It's all BS in my opinion. And uh, gas is insane. I, I mean, what used to take, you know, 2,500 pesos to fill up my wife's car is now 3,500 pesos or more. So a 30% increase in the cost to do the same fill up. There's no shortage of gas. Right, so, you know, who knows what's going on. Yeah, so, the, you know, some of these sort of shortages of food, gas, um, electric, every, everything that, I, I think it's got to be controlled by people that are, are making money off this stuff, right? There's no surprise there. Um, I don't even want to talk about what the U.S. government does. Um, it, it's just sad, you know, one of the reasons I'm not in the U.S. anymore. But... Back on topic here, anxiety. Um, do preppers have anxiety or is it paranoia? Um, are, are they driving their own fears? I don't know because in the last couple months I've really felt um, like I need to do something. I really felt that something bad is coming. I can't put my finger on it. I just know that I want to be ready, right? So a lot of people that know me and are new to my channel because my channel's new, are saying, wow, what's going on with Bill? He's like medical supplies and 
tripping on uh, power security, water security, food security, guns and ammo. And they're like, what's going on with you? And I'm like, you know, I really kind of don't know other than I have this really deep feeling that I need to prepare for stuff um, based on news and stories and, and what I personally see. So the anxiety I have, I guess primarily right now is around the fact that I have a freeze dryer and I haven't been able to use it. So um, my food supply is just what I put in the pantry from regular canned food and dried food stuff. I really have no long-term storage. Um, I have obviously a plan in place to remediate that issue. Anxiety, um, sleeplessness, a, a lot of this is uh, based on reading too much news or trying to sift through the bullshit news and find the, what's really going on. And, and I do that, right? So I don't come to you guys and tell you, hey, the world is dying. I'm just going to say there's food shortages and there's price increases and you can be more prepared. And on that note, um, I have noticed some other local Philippine YouTubers starting to also talk about this. So it's not just me. <laughs> uh, people are talking about what's in their food boxes, their food pantries, and you know, adding more stuff to it. And I get a general feeling that a lot of people are feeling this way. Um, just they don't have a, a, a way to really address it. So I imagine if they have an anxiety, it's really bad. Um, because they, they don't have a plan. Um, and then for those kind of people, I'm telling you, if you're watching this and, and you feel you can't do anything about it, you can. Even if it's one can of tuna a week, it's something, right? It will, it, it will add up. Anxieties, fears, paranoia, warmongering. You know, a lot of prepper channels really dwell on this. And then the clickbait, you know, for the YouTube channel. The world's going to end in 30 days unless you buy my supplies of X. Um, sure, that's how they make their channels, just like the other YouTube's channels do things. I'm trying to just say my channel's going to be more grounded, more uh, my personal opinion, but it's going to be more grounded on, on how I feel and what I've read and what I'm doing, and I hope that it, it helps you guys um, to some degree. And if you don't like my advice, that's fine. Um, if you have suggestions, please put them in the comment, right? You know, I. I learn new stuff every day, and if you have something that you think will help me, please tell me. And if you're my family and my friends that are watching, which is primarily why I started this channel, um, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm not losing my mind. I'm just being that Boy Scout I was when I was a kid, and I'm just trying to uh, be prepared for anything that might come. And uh, with that, you know, it's early morning. I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. I do thank you if you watched all the way through. If you, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that like button. To all my YouTube friends, family, thank you. Have a good day.